So if you want a quick and easy way to bring in your WAV files, your MP3 files, you don't want to have to browse here and import them separately. There is a bit of a workaround. Let's show you this now. I've got a question here. Was there an update in GarageBand which prevented the method of importing into GarageBand? Now, not that I know of. So this is importing your, your MP3s, your WAV files, your other files into GarageBand. I'll grab my mouse here so that we can move it around. Uh, it is still 100% possible to do this. So if you've never imported files into GarageBand, it's super fun. It can really enhance your, your projects. Uh, and let's just show you how. So we're going to go in here. I'll go to my ideas folder. We'll go to create a song. And we'll scroll over to the audio recorder. Not that we're going to use it, but just for, for the ability to get to our track view. I'm going to tap on the track view here. And all of your importing that goes on in GarageBand happens in this little loop icon in the top right corner. So we're going to tap on the loop icon. And uh, here's all your Apple loops. But if you want to bring files in, you actually tap on this one here, files. And here's all the files that I already have. Now, all of these ones are actually in your GarageBand file transfer folder. So if you want a quick and easy way to bring in your WAV files, your MP3 files, you don't want to have to browse here and import them separately. There is a bit of a workaround. Let's show you this now. We'll go to the, uh, the files app. Remember, your files app is pretty much exactly the same, except that you can actually do a lot more file related stuff. And if we tap here, sorry, I'll show you that again iCloud Drive, GarageBand, this is where I always recommend that you store your stuff. But what you can do is under on my iPad and GarageBand, there is this file folder called GarageBand File Transfer. And yes, here are all of the files there. So if you ever want to clean up your file transfer folder, you don't have to do it in GarageBand and do it sort of file by file. You can come in over here. The other good thing is that we can actually move files to here as well. So if I go to Audio Share, I've got a few different uh, files in here. What's one that's not going to get me into trouble? Uh, let's grab this. Uh, you've lost that loving feeling. And uh, we want to bring this in because we want to import this uh, this file. So then we just hit the select button. We tap this one. We're going to uh, copy it. Although I think you can only use move. I don't think copy exists. Oh, no, we do. Under here, we've got copy. So we're going to copy it from there. We're going to go to on my iPad, GarageBand, file transfer, tap in here, right click or right tap <laughs> and hit paste. Oh, and I've already, I already had it in there. All right, well, that, that's good, isn't it? Let's keep both. It'll create a second version. <laughs> I, I happened to choose a file that I already had in my GarageBand file transfer folder. But anyway, there it is now. And then back here in GarageBand, it will have updated that. And uh, there you go. We've got two versions of that. And if we want to bring these in, tap and hold, drag it on across and chuck it in there. And it will bring it in. Now you can see a problem here. It's only brought in the first eight bars. So I'm going to undo that because what you need to do before you bring it in loops and things is actually tap on the plus button here and either give yourself enough bars to hold it or hit the automatic button. Automatic means that when you bring something in, it'll automatically adjust it to the entire length. Let's bring in this whistling idea this time. I don't even know what this is. There you go. This time we've brought it in, but if we zoom on in, it's got the whole lot. And what was my whistling idea here? Let's find out. Turn it up. It's a weird whistling idea that I had. And don't forget that if you're bringing something in that has a certain BPM, so if you're bringing in a loop or something like, where's one that has here, like this 110 BPM loop, and you're dragging it in here, you'll also want to make sure that you, oh, look, there you go. The tempo is 110. So you can see that that one's lined up beautifully there. So if we mute out my whistling and hit the play button, there you go. Brought in that nice loop and we can build out over the top of that. So yeah, importing stuff, it still should be there. You just might need to uh, dig around and find your files there. But keep that in mind, if you're trying to bring files in and you want to bring in a bunch of them, come over to here because you can actually bring in a bunch of files at once by accessing your GarageBand file transfer folder under on my iPad, GarageBand for iOS, GarageBand file transfer.